Greetings to you all, Israel. This is Reach Taiwid Israel again. As on the last video, I said that I would uh, give you all an insight of our harvest. We began the harvest out of our garden here, as you can see the beauty and the lusciousness of the plants. We have cabbages, late cabbages, and broccolis. Uh, and so I began to harvest some today in this Israelite community. And this is some of the broccoli. Now, this is fresh. This is not the stuff you get out of Whole Food or Trader Joe's. But look at the beauty of that. Can you see that? How fresh it is. This is broccoli here. Beautiful, fresh broccoli. And not only that, uh, look at the beauty of these, uh, what they call white cauliflowers, the snow white. Look how beautiful they are. Look at that. Beautiful cauliflowers just beautiful we have beautiful cauliflowers that we're going to dine on for the next few days I have a precious friend with us here from ohio my uh, mikaya is isho mikaya el and their son is and i love to prepare meals for them we're going to dine on this fresh broccoli you see how fresh this is cut today today is november the 23rd i do believe and also we have beautiful different types of cabbages some come late season early season enough for meal for us as a community beautiful cabbages to eat and to dine on that look at that fresh as it comes the dew or the wetness of the rain from last night still upon the cabbages and broccoli we have much to harvest here but my Ach Simeon said this is more than enough for a few days again the beauty of the broccoli and if you can look in the background here we have the Ach planting garlic here today planting the garlic we have beautiful broccoli look at that you don't find this kind of broccoli and cauliflowers this fresh and this beautiful uh, in the store that we as a nation of people can eat healthy and if we would uh, if we would turn our backs against our selfishness and learn how to live with each other we say we love each other but we really don't give a damn we don't care. When you love someone, you take care of them. And then we can take care of each other, look after the needs of each other, that we can eat healthy, live healthy, and live longer lives that Yah intended for us to live. You can't buy this out of Walmart. You don't get this out of Whole Foods. You don't get this out of Trader Joe's. You must grow it. And this is a very small garden here. It's not large. We have a beautiful pond to feed the irrigation of this garden here. We're going to sand this pond, that is to empty it out, because there are tens of thousands of fish in this pond. We will sand this pond here, we will empty that out, we will harvest the fish, and we will have fish to give to you. There are those that will say, well, do you leave anything for the gleaners? Well, I ask you, my friend, are you a gleaner? Then come get some. Yet you will ask questions, but there is no effort in the legitimacy of your question because if I left it here, you would not even come to get it. You will let it rot in the field. So this is what Yah intends for a true Hebrew, Yisroelite community. We dwell together to live, to grow our food, to have our husbandry, our animals, our chickens, our goats, our guineas, to raise food, our fish in ponds. We have in this community, we have one, two, three, four, five fishing ponds. Do you hear that? Five fishing ponds. And during Sukkot, we were able to fish from our ponds to eat. We had our own lamb. We had our own goat's meat. We butchered a beautiful cow. We had, you have never seen truly a grass-fed cow and the meat. It is nothing like you see in the store. Nothing like it no marble fat it is a pure meat and the redness of it is redder than blood and this what you get from the stores as we buy and purchase it is tainted so if we would pool our resources together we could do this all over america and grow food but this is the harvest today i wanted to share this with you beautiful broccoli and cabbages to eat Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at the cabbages. I intended to harvest some some turnips and turnip greens, but my Oximion said, oh, we have more than enough. And look at the cauliflower. Look at the beauty of this cauliflower. I want you to see that. Beautiful cauliflower here. Look at that. Can you ask for more? 
your family eating healthy, the soil is healthy here, it's not laced with chemicals, nothing like that. Do you see this building here? It is a rundown looking building. We have chickens in there and the chickens, they are relocated at this time of the season to another area. We take advantage of everything, we relocate them with the cattle. And what they do, they stretch in the dung of the cattle, they spread the manure for new growth, fertilizer, they eat out the seeds out of the dung, and then uh, it is a system that supports itself. And the chickens, we will let them out in the garden. What is left, they will eat that up. They will stretch, they will, they will uh, eradicate the guard of certain uh, uh, bugs and diseases that would uh, overtake our crop. So it is a secular type of a thing that we utilize everything. This is valuable, this is valuable to our health, that we can be strong and healthy. Like many of us, we're overweight. And so this is how Yah wants us to eat like this. Beautiful, fresh broccoli, different type, Mary, Marathon, we have Pac-Man, beautiful. They all taste different. And above all that, the best part of the broccoli, I tell you, is simply the leaves. If you love greens, you will love this. Look at the head of this broccoli. Look at that. So we have thousands of heads of broccoli here, thousands. And we will eat broccoli and things of this nature until the season of the snow peas and the sweet peas, whereby we will grow uh, nearly five acres of that, four acres, three and a half acres, I do believe, of this. This is a small garden here. And if you Hebrews get together and just rent a plot in a place and grow some food, it is not easy work. But I hear those that say that it is easy to garden. I know they have never done that. They speak by speculation, not by experience. It is a difficult thing. It is a thing that you must tend to constantly and always, because if you don't, you will go, you're going to have diseases, and the diseases will overtake the crop. You see, in the community, we have the hope. We have our precious Ema Chavez. She's nearly 70 years old. She's out getting her walk on today. She jogs. Even at that age, Yisra'ya, we can live a life that is healthy according to Yah's plan if we simply obey his dietary law. There will be many videos coming on different aspects of a true Israelite, Yisraelite, Hebrew, Messianic community. Until then, Shalom. Greetings in Yahshua's mighty name. Yabrak Shalom. Shalom Yisraya. I had to add this attachment. Look at the beauty of these beautiful turnips. We're going to prepare these, my Isha and I. I love to cook. At least once a month, I'll be cooking tomorrow because of our precious friends. And then we're gonna have fresh, beautiful turnips, cooked, sauteed, beautiful, some beautiful olive oil or spices. They will be so delicious. I will tell you about that, or not only that, we'll film the process of that. All right, shalom. Hallelujah.